Welcome back to Lisa and Company. I'm glad you stopped by for today's Trash to Treasure video. Of course, this is hosted by Casey over at Coffee with My Sunshine. And today she has one of my favorite YouTubers, Katie, the Handy Mom, co-hosting with her. Today I'm using a fan blade, but not just any fan blade. It's the tiniest fan blade I've ever seen. So we're gonna get this baby taken apart and I'm going to paint it white and we're going to create a really great Christmas DIY. Now I gotta tell you, I did get this for free because I found it at the ReStore and they were throwing it out. So I put my hand up and went, yeah, I'll take that. Once I had the other side painted, I decided I wanted to use this side. So you saw what this is going to look like and I thought the Christmas tree would look so pretty. So I'm using my Fusion Mineral Paint in Bayberry for the first green and then we're gonna go over top with another green before we get into the snow. So it really is this easy. I'm not lying to you. You just wanna do a quick brush stroke from side to side. First layer was Bayberry. The second layer is Fusion Mineral Paint in Park Bench, one of my absolute favorites. And now I'm just putting the snow on the tips. You really wanna make it look like the snow has landed exactly where it would on a tree. Then using that same white paint, we're gonna fill in the bottom so it looks like freshly fallen snow and go around the edges and just soften the edges with the dry brush. I'm using the tacky glue from Dollar Tree because before I add glitter to this, I want it to be textural. I want it to really stand up from the surface. You can use whatever you've got. Mod Podge will work. You could use school glue, just any white glue. You could use just about anything. You could even let the wet paint be what the glitter sticks to. But I wanted this to stand up so it kind of had that little textural feeling to it. When I went along the bottom, I actually made it so it was like ridges in the snow. Those ridges I made in the snow, I went back with my paintbrush and I just kind of moved them around a little bit just to create a little more texture. And boy, you wanna know, there is glitter all over my favorite paintbrush. So probably not my biggest Einstein moment on that one. Now going in with the world's tiniest paintbrush, which is actually from Dollar Tree as well. It comes in a pack with that other one I was using, a $1.25, and these are two of my favorite brushes. So I'm going along and I'm putting in these elongated stars with the tiniest bit of paint and this tiny paintbrush. What would have actually been easier is one of the oil-based Sharpies. That would have done a beautiful job of putting these stars on. And I'm just putting a few on just to add a little bit more something. So we're gonna make a quick four loop bow. The beauty of this ribbon that I picked up at Michael's is it's the same on both sides. So we don't have to go through that twisting motion to make sure the, the bow looks good. So this is literally a tail four loops back and forth, and then we're gonna tie it off with a little piece of wire in the middle. Hopefully this is slow enough so you can see exactly how simple this bow is. These bows, the bigger you want them, the more loops you add to them. The wire ribbon makes it so easy that I think anybody can do one of these. I don't think you have to make bow making complicated. To create beautiful ends, simply fold that in half and cut from the lower to the middle of the ribbon where the fold is and you're gonna have a beautiful dovetail end. Really finishes off your bow beautifully. So I thought one of these white painted pine cones was gonna be the way to go in the middle of the bow, but they were all too big. You gotta keep in mind this fan blade is pretty small, so the bow is small and we don't wanna overwhelm it. So 
Dollar Tree garland ties to the rescue. I'm gonna lay these down at the top. We're gonna put the bow over top of them. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of my, okay, you guys have heard me talk about this super expensive garland that I got from Michaels. Well, I'm gonna break out the Michaels garland and we're gonna add a couple of little pieces to this. A quick dry brush with the white linen paint over those garland ties is going to give them a frosty, super pretty look. So the whole thing just sort of comes together with all that dry brushing we did on the actual sign. Hey, if you enjoy budget-friendly DIY, lots of farmhouse decor, lots of renovating, and anything you can imagine for the home, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we don't want you to miss any of the videos we upload. We have some big plans from now till the holidays and you don't want to miss any of them. I've got a little white grosgrain ribbon I picked up at the Dollar Tree that's gonna make a perfect little loop through a hole that was already there. Don't you guys think I should take that, I don't even know what you call it, the arm that attaches it to the fan and try to turn that into something? I feel like that's a whole other trash to treasure. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Tell me what you think I could make it into down in the comments. This may qualify as my favorite trash to treasure ever. I mean, this baby was going in the garbage and now it looks beautiful. I was on a home tour of homes decorated for the holidays this weekend. And apart from the fact that I picked up some major inspiration, I got some great ideas. And one of them was putting larger pieces in your Christmas tree. It takes up a ton of space and it has a ton of visual interest. So you tell me down in the comments what you would put larger in your Christmas tree. So I hope you enjoyed our trash to treasure today just as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. Thanks to our amazing hosts, Casey at Coffee with My Sunshine and Katie at Handy Mom. I hope you guys enjoy the playlist, which we'll link down below. See you next time.